The Rogerson Institute is one of the foremost clinical and medical research institutes in the world. It's a unique combination of the very best in healthcare and innovative research and education to improve patient well-being. Founded in 1983 as an independent, not-for-profit institute, its roots go back to the 1950s with the formation of the Rogerson Kidney Center. Dr. Albert Rubin, the founder of Rogerson, established the Institute's goals of advancing science, shaping medicine, and making a difference in people's lives. He was a true visionary. We've certainly come a long way from Rogerson's early beginnings. Time when Al had to take the city's first dialysis machine to treat patients who were in various hospitals around the city. And he had to move it in a checker cab the only cab big enough to hold it. In those days, we were able to dialyze only a few patients in a small treatment room of the hospital. Now we have three dialysis centers, treating almost 700 patients with over 100,000 procedures each year. I really knew nothing about dialysis of any sort. And coming here from the, from the very beginning, it was discussed you know, all the different options that there are. And after being here and meeting Dr. Vologa, I said, this is where I want to be. I like that every time I come in, everybody say, oh, hi, Brenda, how you doing? You know, I don't feel like it's all business here. It's more like, like a whole big family. But our ultimate goal is to prevent renal failure from progressing and eventually to eliminate the need for dialysis altogether. Until that time, Kidney transplantation offers a wonderful way to improve patients' quality of life and to free them from time-consuming dialysis treatments. At Rogerson and New York Presbyterian Well Cornell, we performed the first kidney transplant in the metropolitan area in 1963, and in 2007, we celebrated our 3,000th transplant. We now perform 250 transplants a year with outstanding success with new programs for making kidney donation possible for more people and a nationally known tissue typing laboratory to support the effort, we are working toward increasing that number to 300 transplants a year. The aftercare, I think, is probably the best. Because after I had the transplant, I was back here four times as, as an inpatient. I realized I was being watched. That's very important they, they watch it. This is the, the only kidney I have now, so it's either uh, I make it with this or I don't make it. But they make sure that you do make it. And I'm here to talk about it. I look back and I said, wow, why was I afraid? Everything turns out so well. It's a different life for me. I just feel overwhelmed and happy. Rogerson also performs kidney pancreas transplants for patients suffering with diabetes and kidney disease. We hope soon to perform the first ever porcine islet cell transplant that will improve the health of many diabetic patients. For more than 25 years, Rogerson has been at the forefront of the treatment of individuals with elevated cholesterol levels. More than 2,000 patients are treated each year at Rogerson's Comprehensive Lipid Control Center, where we treat patients with lipid disorders and perform clinical research. Our work has led to innovative tests and novel treatments like LDL phoresis that are used around the world to treat people with severe lipid disorders. We continue to develop diagnostic and therapeutic solutions to improve cardiac health and kidney function. Rogerson's research program is broad-based. It ranges from the study of new medicines to understanding the mechanisms underlying disease processes. If we understand what causes the damage to kidneys in diabetes and polycystic kidney disease, we should be able to limit or even reverse the damage. If we can unravel what allows cancer cells to grow, we can test new ways to control this growth. These treatments have the potential to help patients worldwide. Our global outreach continues with the work of the Dreyfus Health Foundation, which became a division of Rogerson in 1988. Today, its programs serve 30 countries and have reached more than 6 million people 
in Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Americas. Our outreach includes teaching new doctors how to provide better patient care in India and China. In Brazil, three million people living in the slums of Rio de Janeiro have formed health communities that have changed government policy. The list goes on. The Institute continues with the vision of our founder, Dr. Albert Rubin. We are looking forward to developing further treatments, always with the goal of improving quality of life for patients everywhere. They made me feel not to give up, to have hope and have faith that I was going to be okay. Best place to be. You look forward to coming, that's the best way to put it. It's like one big happy family here. I can't imagine being anywhere else.